So the amount of cookies that Tim ate equals whatever Alice ate plus four. Bob ate twice as many cookies as Tim. So whatever the amount Bob ate, you have to multiply Tim's amount by twice. So X represents the oh so okay I used A for Alice but they use X. If X represents the total number of cookies that Alice ate, which expression represents the number of cookies that Bob ate? Okay, so if we look at these two, I want to keep my variable A. It just helps me out. Bob equals twice what Tim ate, right? But we want to define um, the number of cookies that Bob ate in comparison to Alice. So it's, we're going to kind of connect these two. So if Bob equals twice um, what Tim ate, and Tim ate um, what Alice ate plus 4, I'm going to double this first equation. So I get, instead of T, I get 2T equals 2A plus 8. And now I can simply substitute this into here. So B does equal 2T, but 2T equals 2A plus 8. That means that the amount that Bob ate is equal to twice what Alice ate plus 8. And they just use X for Alice's amount. So it's 2X, right, plus 8. But if they don't have exactly that, they probably factored it out, which they did in choice 3. They factored out a common factor, which is 2. And if you just redistribute, you can see it. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 4 is 8. So these two are equivalent. All right, Byron is...